Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Uh, today we have a data pack uh, that is self-explanatory. Player head drops. Uh, uh, you drop the player head when you kill somebody. And that is what I'm going to teach you how to set it up for your server. So, let's go. Alright, to use this uh, data pack you need to download it from the description and you need to unpack it it's a zip file and once you unpack it you need to open this loop function and uh, this is the contents right now so there is already instructions there you can copy this uh, and let's let's change the view actually uh, word wrap so that we can see everything in this part so what we do is we need to just copy this and change the player IGN thing uh, name for any of your players on your server so in this case we have one for me one for my camera account one for a friend and that is about it once you're done modifying your loop MC function uh, go back to your data pack, uh, the root of your data pack here, and you need to repack these files, the pack MC data at least, and the data uh, folders, folder, and you need to archive it into a zip file and call it player drops b2 because this is the name uh, the in uninstaller has. Uh, for disabling it so let's hit ok and this file this is now your data pack and you need to drop this on your server let's do that all right I'm on my server files and I need to go to data packs and I need to drop the file here and now we go to the game and now that I'm in the game I need to reload Flash reload and there you go it is, you're gonna get a message saying that this has been installed and it's ready to go so let's test it out right now and let's kill this guy and there we go <laughs> I have the head all right so this is a great example of what happens when your connection fails for a moment I have uh, the actual head and for some reason it's giving me a head that is not the right one. So let's try again. Alright, I didn't change anything but connect it back in and let's see now. And now we get the, the real head. So um, this, this thing, the heads, work with the uh, session server of um, Moyen. So if you have any lag, any connection problem to it, you're gonna uh, get a uh, regular Alex or Steve head. So the other thing that this thing has um, now is that uh, when you place the head, uh, when you picked it up, uh, th there was a problem where you cannot get the name of the player anymore. And that is fixed in this version. We have uh, there we go, Madcat Hog's head, and this one should be the same. So let's try it again. And there we go. When you uh, obtain it the first time, it has a different information until you place it down and you picked it up again. And there you go, they can stack now with the right information. And now we can check this information. Uh, we can check the data from this uh, thing. Let's try selected item. And there we go. Then we have all the information inside, the signature and the value, which is uh, the actual uh, skin. And then the name, that is uh, the player name. So that all that information is now on this heads and this new version in Minecraft 1.13 and all of this is gonna work uh, pretty well now uh, the first time you may not get it like I just did 
so don't worry if you don't get it the first time just make sure to, to write down your uh, friends uh, IGN in the file and you will have it all right so uh, the previous method was um, always causes a lag spike we have a bug open for uh, since forever in the bug tracker and for Moyun about this so I made a um, a script that actually connects to their API and gets the information from their servers to avoid that kind of lag. I explained this uh, how it works on a different video and uh, this uh, script will help help you generate this type this type of uh, function and this uh, the, the names as, as you saw they are really really long so it's like impossible to do it well not impossible there are tools to help you do it but this uh, will actually read your whitelist JSON file if you have uh, this script right in the same folder as your uh, whitelist that JSON file and it will create this function for you now let's try this let's go to a folder where I have this so I have uh, this generator and a whitelist.json file and uh, in this JSON file we have information about this is some some server uh, somebody that gave me the whitelist JSON file to generate this uh, function so let's try it so one way uh, of, of oh, for this you need Ruby uh, installed on your on your computer and one way to uh, open a console here is holding shift and right click and you can open uh, a console here in this case PowerShell because I have installed PowerShell in my computer but it's no different than this one so once you're here you just need to execute ruby and the name of the generator so this one's phd uh, generator you can uh, press tab to auto complete all of those and uh, if you want to generate something uh, for for you and you don't have your whitelist server uh, right now you can just write the names separated by spaces so uh, let's write madcat hog uh, or madcat and madcat OG and this should generate the file all right so let's check this loops and mc function and there we go so this is uh, generating and let's change the view to warp wrap real quick there we go so uh, school owner is gonna get the ID from the API the name and the texture so all of that's gonna be on this file so uh, there will there will won't be any lag spike when you kill somebody and uh, also if you have uh, your whitelist the JSON let's say there's a ton of players that you need to add in your uh, function or your data pack uh, that will take a long time so let's try this without any parameters uh, just Ruby the HD generator we executed no parameters reading from whitelist and it's generating for everyone on this uh, whitelist there's a bunch of people <laughs> Okay, let's open this loop function and there we go. We have all of them with uh, their uh, corresponding IDs. This is uh, taken from the Moyun API. So this is uh, uh, player by player. You get each, um, each uh, ID and texture. So what you do with this loop MC function that has been generated is put it on the right place, which is inside data PhD functions and you just replace this loop mc function and you packet it again as i show you at the beginning of this video and there you have it all right guys so i added also an uninstaller for this one you just need to run the function 
phd uninstall and this will do this it will tell you that it has been uninstalled disabled all the um, scoreboards had been cleared and to install again you need to re-enable the data pack uh, by using the command data pack enable and, there, and then enable this file again So that is all for now. Thank you guys for watching. And if you need any help with this one, uh, you can contact me on Discord uh, or Twitter. And if you have your whitelist.json uh, file, you can tell me or give it to me and I can generate that for you. Or you can ask me about uh, how to use that script or anything uh, in that sense. So I'm available there on Discord. All the links are in the description. Don't forget to leave a like and tell your friends about this one. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.